Hello, folks. Officer Tony here. Ricky's on vacation, so I'm doing the video all by myself. Ain't that a hoot? I got a presentation for ya. You're gonna love it. Yeah. The record companies are still screwing artists by Officer Tony Woods. Okay, here we go, folks. In the 60s, the music biz was run by a bunch of fat guys smoking cigars and drinking scotch. And they didn't know good music from bad. And they would say, well, the kids like this crap. I don't understand it, but let's put it out anyway. You know, they took some chances. Then in the 70s, they were replaced by the skinny guy smoking dope. They still took chances, but they were high a lot. And uh, they made more money than the 60s. Did I mention the dope? Yeah, exhibit A, HR puffin stuff. But anyway, let's move along. In the 80s and the 90s, the music biz was run by MBAs who spent their time snorting blow. Yeah, and they took a lot fewer chances on artists. They only wanted the sure things. Yeah, mm-hmm. The CD came along and they got to sell everybody all their music all over again. Yeah, everybody was getting rich until Napster came out in 98 with the internet. And then the party was over. From 2000 to 2010, profit was down by 60%. Yeah, in 2006, Spotify launches, but they didn't do much yet. In 2007 was the 360 deal. That's where the record company wanted to own an artist outright. Everything they did. During this time period, a lot of studios closed and a lot of record labels closed. And the handful of ones left consolidated. In 2012, digital sales passed physical sales. In 2015, streaming became the dominant way of selling music. And recording technology got cheap. And all the recording studios closed down except for a few. Yeah, and everybody could record on the cheap. Then you got places like CD Baby that let the small artists get onto the Spotify and Apple Music. That was great news for small artists, right? Well, here we go. Now it's 2023. The money from the streaming goes into a pot where the biggest artists get the biggest payouts and the small guy gets screwed. Yeah, they get four to ten times less money per song. It's unfair. Nobody cares because the rich fat cats who run the record companies need millions of dollars. Yeah, and you don't get nothing. Ricky gets paid as little as a tenth of a penny for a stream song. Yeah. Do you know in 2021, the three big labels made $12 billion from streaming and they're paying fractions of a penny. The CEO of Universal Music made $300 million in 21. So what happened is the big record company has fired a whole bunch of middle management. Yeah, and then they cut themselves in for billions of dollars. That sucks. So what can you do about it? Well... If you want to support your favorite band or artist, go to their show. Buy an album or CD. Buy a t-shirt. Some of them have them Patreon pages. Yeah, and that's what you can do. When will streaming become fair? Never. Because the rich guys run it. And they don't want you to have any money if you're a small artist. No, you get almost nothing. Here's a tenth of a penny. That's all you get. Yeah. Doesn't seem fair, but then again, the music business was never fair. Ha, that's the end of my cheerful presentation. Ricky will be back next week. So thanks for watching, and uh, Ricky will see you next Friday at 5. <laughs>